Y'all, I got this big old bag of overflow. You see? Overflowing empties. These are products that I have used up within the last couple of months, so it's time to soak trash. Now I do the series, Let's Talk Trash, and it's basically letting you know whether I'm going to rebuy or let it fly. Now if I rebuy it, obviously I like the product and I want to use it again, I would definitely spend my coins on it. And if I'm going to let it fly, that means it's not that serious, I don't need it in my collection. It didn't work that great for me, and I'll tell you about each product individually. So guys, let's talk trash. Okay, on top of the bag, I see a couple of skincare products. This first one here is actually one that I got in my curl box. Don't ask me which month. But it's by a company called Ori Essentials. It's a moisturizing leave-in conditioner with no parabens, sulfate, silicone, mineral oil, petroleum, alcohol, and dyes. Now, this is like that thick, creamy, it was a thick, creamy consistency uh, leave-in moisturizer. And I would actually use this for Chloe's hair right before I would like braid it or twist it up or something like that. So it was a pretty good moisturizing leave-in conditioner, but you know, Ori Essentials is not a brand that I know of that, you know, that they sell in stores. So I can't necessarily say I would purchase it again. So this one we're gonna let fly, but it did do what it was supposed to do. Next up is another product that we actually just finished up this weekend, which is why it's at the top of the bag. But I also use this leave-in conditioner for Chloe's hair. And this is by a company called Curls Not Us. It's their moisture-rich leave-in conditioner. And this was more of a consistency where it wasn't as thick and creamy as the one I was just talking about before. But it's also not like a straight liquid where you feel like you're just spraying water in your hair. It had that in-between consistency and those are the type of leave-in conditioners that I tend to like for my own hair. But again, I did use this for Chloe's hair. It did do its purpose and I'm not sure if Curls R Us is a brand that we can get in like local beauty supply stores or anything like that. Again, I did receive it in my curl kit box and that's one thing I like about curl kit because you get to try out different products. This one as well has no parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, no silicone, no dyes, and it's made with natural oils and extracts. So it's still important. I guess the natural oils and extracts basically helps to create that thicker consistency that I was talking about. So it was pretty cool. You know, you just tend to find leave-in conditioners, even though you, you know, even though you, I like to test out products a lot. You basically have those key products that you basically keep in your rotation. As far as leave-in conditioners, let me know if you want me to come back with a video where I discuss uh, some of my favorite leave-in conditioners because that is one thing that I just absolutely love, conditioning my hair. My hair is very dry, I have low porosity hair, so it just makes sense to add moisture to it. So let me know if that's a video you guys want to see. Next up, you've seen this in many of my rebuy. Next up is a product that is no stranger to my empties because I go through these like water. Obviously, I will repurchase this. I always rebuy it, and it's the Bio Five Moisture Milk Strawberries and Cream Moisturizing Conditioner. You guys know I actually use this to detangle my hair before I wash it. Um, I do the same thing for Chloe's hair, like a little pre pull. So absolutely love this conditioner. It just helps melt those kinks and tangles out of your hair minimal breakage and it just provides so much lift through your hair that it makes it easy to detangle so of course i'm gonna rebuy another staple no stranger to my empties is the tropic i live in jamaican strong roots red pimento hair growth with black castor oil i have a whole blog post on it and as a matter of fact i think i have a video that shows me actually preparing for my wash day using this for my scalp i like to do scalp massages with the strong roots and then go through my actual shit um hair shafts with this to detangle so this is a combination that i will always rebuy just love it and i'll definitely link that video down below so you guys can see how i prep my hair for washing because you know you guys want to detangle your hair before you actually wet it so if you're interested in that i'll leave the link down below in the video and of course there'll be a little eye that you can click at the end of the video and it'll show you all the related videos okay Next up, I'm going to talk about two products at the same time. They're both from Scandinavia, and these were actually sent to me. But if you've been a follower of mine on my channel for a long, long time, I'm talking about years ago, maybe like three years ago before everybody was talking about Scandinavia, Scandinavia. I love Wayne Goss here on YouTube. He's a makeup artist from, he's an English, don't quote me. 
He's a makeup artist here on YouTube and I just live for his channel and years ago he's been talking about the Skin Canadia setting sprays for years. So I used to purchase it like maybe every other month actually from their website because it was really, it's really the best setting spray that I've ever had. Um, this and the Urban Decay All Nighter I absolutely love. Now one thing about the Urban Decay All Nighter if you didn't know, Scandinavia actually makes that setting spray. So if you love that, you'll definitely love this. And this one was actually the bridal version of the setting spray. I didn't find it to be any different than the original setting spray that I had tried, but um, it's all good. And along with that, they had sent me their makeup primer spray, which I used a lot in the summertime. And that's because it has oil control. Now, even though I have dry skin, in the summer times where it's hotter, your skin basically not just sweats, but it also produces more oils. So when I sprayed this spray before doing my makeup, you can actually feel the oils, oils just absorbing into your skin so that the oils doesn't mix in with your makeup and make it look like all slimy and gross, you know what I'm saying? So absolutely love Scandinavia brand. Um, come time where IMAX and the makeup show hit, I'm definitely gonna hit up their booth and stock up again on them some more. Um, both the makeup primer spray as well as the makeup setting spray, they're both a good look, so I would definitely be glad those. Next up, I have a skincare item in here, and it's from e.l.f. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen when I purchased this, but I never really talked about it here on my channel. I don't even think I hold it here on the channel. But it's the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser, and it was a pretty good, big package. I, I think it ran about $10, $8.99, something like that. Um, something to that effect. But I, I actually won't repurchase this, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, one thing about this is I noticed now that I'm going to tell you, it doesn't list the ingredients on the back of the product. Now, I know for me it was a, and I can still smell it, it was a heavily scented um, cleanser. And I don't like to put any kind of freight any kind of cleansers with fragrance or perfumes in it because I feel like that basically dries out my skin. It did lather a lot. Another reason why I feel like it dried out my skin. My skin didn't necessarily feel dry using it, but just the fragrance and the suds and everything alone, that just kind of turns me off. So there's, you know, plenty of cleansers out there, but this is not one that I would definitely repurchase. But they do have a moisturizer in this same collection, their um, Elf Skincare Collection. They have a moisturizer that I want to try out, and they also have this like bubbly mask that I've been seeing a lot lately. So I would definitely try more of the Elf Skincare products, just not necessarily rebuy this cleanser. I have an empty pack of lashes here. These are lashes that I was, I paid like a dollar, probably like 75 cents for all five of these lashes, a pack of these lashes. And I actually bought like five packs of the five. So uh, this was the first pack that I went through. These are from AliExpress. I would wear them singly, I would wear them stacked. These lashes are really easy to put on, nice thin band, very flexible, had no issues with that, so I would definitely repurchase these. 75 cents, like how could you not? So if you're interested, of course, I'll leave links down below for you guys. Next up, we have another item here, and as you see, I'm smiling because I love this hand cream. Like, I didn't purchase this, I'm gonna keep it 100. I was actually sent a couple of products from the Nubian Heritage brand, and, um, this hand cream was my everything. At one point in time, I did leave it on my desk at work, but it was so good that I had to put it in my bag and carry it back and forth because I wanted to use it at home, I wanted to use it outside, I wanted to use it in the car. This hand cream, it smells so good, and it was really moisturizing, but it doesn't leave like that greasy feeling. It actually absorbed into your hands, but your hands still felt moisturized. The smell was freaking delicious, so absolutely where we purchased this and they actually sell Nubian Heritage in Ulta so if you guys come across this in your local Ulta I definitely recommend that you check out this brand and I did have a couple of other things from them the African black soap that I used that was really nice it had a nice smell but you didn't smell it on your body and of course I don't have the soap here with me but you didn't smell the soap on your body so I did I do have eczema on my skin and maybe now in the winter time it may be a little bit better to use that bar soap. I may pick up another one just to try it again. I don't want to give you guys a full review. I wouldn't necessarily purchase it because 
as a person with eczema, my doctor back in the days recommended Dove. I've been using Dove for years, and that's basically the only bar soap that I use, unless I'm trying something out. So the bar soap, a lot of people I know, they do use it for their facial skin care. So Nubian Heritage, like I said, definitely check out their brand. They have a lot of interesting products. So I think this was definitely a good one. The hand cream, definitely a good look. Another frequent visitor here in my empties, of course I'm going to rebuy this. This is the MAC Minimalized Skin Finish. One of my favorite setting powders, sorry, oh well, the mirror is so dirty and dusty it's probably not even reflecting. <laughs> but um, this is the Minimalized Skin Finish, one of my favorite setting powders. It just makes everything look very natural and put together. As um, I just recently did the video on the Laura Mercier powder, of course I wanted to try new products. Of course I wanted to try new products, but... The MAC Minimalized Skin Finish is a holy grail, and I wear mine in the shade deep. No, sorry, dark. <laughs> another holy grail. I was just finishing stuff up, I see. But this is another holy grail product. You've guys seen it in my favorites. If you saw my favorites, I know. I haven't done a favorites video in, like, forever. But these empties kind of make up for it. It tells you what I like, what I didn't. And if I ran through it, and I really love it, and I'm going to repurchase it, then it was a favorite, right? So, <laughs> I haven't done favorites in a long time. I think this was like either in my January or February favorites. I use it on a daily basis. I color correct like every day. And this is from LA Girl, their Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. This is actually the orange corrector. And again, holy girl status, of course, I'm gonna rebuy. I actually have two in my drawer right now. I don't need to rebuy it right now, but when that runs out, we rebuy. Dang, I'm just pulling out a lot of stuff that I just love. Y'all know, Avagy Keratin 2 Minute Reconstruct. I absolutely love this conditioner. It's not a, it's more like a protein treatment. It's not a conditioner. So, um, it says it adds strength and softness in one step, which it actually absolutely does. My hair lives for this stuff. When I don't use the Avagy, when I don't use the Avagy 2 Minute Reconstructor, my hair would start actually shedding. And when I went through that, it was sometime last year when I first started transitioning. When I started, tra um, you know, my hair didn't know what the hell was going on. It's like, we need a perm, we need a perm. But no, <laughs> you needed this Afro G is what we needed. So it adds strength to your hair. Make sure that it eliminates the shedding. I was going through a lot of shedding. And I realized that it was because I wasn't using my Afro G. So this is always a holy grail. My, um, this is actually a holy grail product in my hair regimen. Right now, I am trying out different protein products as well, so, and they seem to have been working. I don't get a lot of shedding when I do my hair. When I'm detangling, when I'm washing, I don't really get a lot of shedding. So if you guys want like an updated hair regimen, because I know I haven't done any hair videos in a minute. You guys see, I've been rocking my own hair for a while now, and I just let it be. Like, I don't do too much manipulation. You guys know I believe in low manipulation when it comes to your hair. And pretty much my relaxed ends are out. But just let me know if you want to um, update. I'll do that in a separate video. But Apple G, of course, rebuy. This one I've actually rebought again as well. This is the Booby Kisses Never Touch Up Setting Spray. And we were just talking about Wing Gods. But I've been using this setting spray for a trick that he just recently did. And what Wayne Goss was saying is how to make your under eye concealer last a little bit longer. Not concealer, but your whole brightness powder setting thing. Let me know if you want me to do a demo about what I'm talking about. But basically you just make it last a little bit longer by spraying your beauty blender sponge. And as you're blending out the concealer and setting your powder, you want to have that setting powder on your sponge. And it basically helps it stay there a little bit longer and helps it last. So I have been using this Ruby Kisses setting spray and I've been liking it. And for like, how much is it? I think it's like six bucks. Here, see, here's my new one, I, $6.99. For $6.99, you can't be mad at that. The setting sprays is like $25 these days. Granted, you only get 1.69 fluid ounces, but if you buy three of these, you can fill up a whole huge bottle if you want. So this is definitely a good look. If you see it in your local beauty supply stores, I definitely recommend that you try it out. Now this, I'm definitely gonna rebuy. I'll just let you know right now. This is the Embryo Lease. I'm not French, I'm from the Bronx. NYC baby, you see my shirt, NYC. So, <laughs> it just so happened, right? But um, the Embryo Lease Date Creme Concentrate, I guess. And it's basically a moisturizer. I use this like nonstop. 
it's like a moisturizer and primer in one a lot of makeup artists keep this in their kit and I can absolutely see why it's good for all skin types um, it can be like I said it can be doubled as a primer and as you can see I used it like up to the max this was their special gold edition I think they had made like to sell it this was their special gold edition to celebrate their anniversary we have received this in the we have received this in our bag at the makeup show as press and I loved it and I would definitely repurchase it. They actually sell it in Target so if I see it I would definitely pick it up. Alright guys so you might remember a couple of months ago I got a box from Influenza and I was featuring a whole lot of products from L'Oreal and one of the main products that they was basically advertising for was the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Um, I'll link that video down below if you guys are interested but I I definitely did enjoy using this primer not only with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara that goes along with it, but also with various other I mean, various other mascaras like my Better Than Sex Too Faced. That combination was the bomb. Um, what else? I was using uh, the Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline. I was using a couple of different mascaras along with this primer and I do like the idea of using a primer before you actually do your mascara. It basically eliminates you having to put so many coats of mascara and risking, you know, the clumps and everything like that. The primer just basically preps your lashes and it separates everything, has it in place where it's supposed to be, and then you can go in with your mascara and just deepen it and curl it and do whatever that mascara is supposed to do. So I would definitely repurchase this. I am very much a fan of mascara primers and the L'Oreal, being that they have one now in the drugstore, that's always a bonus. So this is something that you guys, if you guys come across it, I definitely recommend you try that out. Now if you're old school like me, we are all familiar with the Queen Helene products, especially their cholesterol hair conditioner. And this one was actually a different edition. It's not the original that we all love, but this is one with argan oil. And I won't say that it was any different than the original one. It actually smells just like the original one, so it just had that basic. It just had that added conditioning from the argan oil, which I absolutely loved. And Queen Helene, it is definitely a hip. It's definitely a staple in a lot of people's regimens. This bottle was, this jar was the first that I bought in like years, but I would definitely repurchase this again because it's definitely a good look and it's affordable, so you can't be mad at that, right? So. Now this deep conditioner is from Eden Body Works and it's from the Jojoba Manoy line. I use this deep conditioner for as a pre-pool for Chloe's hair because I like to use a lot of the Eden Body Works products for Chloe's hair and even though I know they have a kids line, I was using the regular adults line. I don't know if it's any harsher but I do like the fact that, that their products are all natural so that's what makes me feel more comfortable with using it in Chloe's hair. But this deep conditioner did a good job at helping me detangle Chloe's hair and Eden Body Works, I like a lot of their products actually. So I would, of course, I would repurchase that. Oh look, another product from the um, Elf Skincare stuff. So this was their Elf Hydrating Water Cleansing Wipes and it came in a package with 20 cloths. And I really did like these cloths actually. I would definitely rebuy these. These are alcohol free. And on the back they actually have the, um, they actually have the ingredients and I don't see any fragrance in it so that could be why I did enjoy this product from that line. Um, I'm pretty sure the cleanser had this, the ingredients on it. Let me stop mentioning those agreements. ingredients. I'm pretty sure I had the ingredients on the back of the box. It did have a package that it came in but these L cleansing wipes, these were definitely a good look. I actually prefer these over the original cleansing wipes that e.l.f. has. These were a little bit more moisturizing and even stayed more moisturized inside the package as well. Like it had more liquid to it. So these I would I would definitely be buying these again. I'm sorry y'all. This like empties is gonna be like super duper long. It's mad stuff in this bag. Uh, this is something else that I had gotten in the curl kit box. This is from a company called Girl Plus Hair and it's, this was kind of cool because as you can see it has a nozzle. So this was made for you to be able to take care of your hair like if it's in a protective style, like if you're wearing wigs or if you have a weave, you can go ahead and just apply this into you know the little cracks in between your tracks or whatever you got to do and it will help you to you know maintain that moisture within your actual own hair while you're protecting styling so i thought this was pretty cool uh the consistency of this is more like a thick gel type consistency 
Um, me personally, I used it more as a pre poo same way I would with the Tropic Out Lemon Strong Roots. Um, they do have a whole bunch of different products in the line, and I do want to try more from that product. This one, per se, I don't protect the style as often as I used to, and I definitely don't do weaves. <laughs> if anything, I would just do, you know, wigs, you know. I'm good with wigs, because I like to take it off at night. <laughs> but, um... I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this particular product, but I definitely want to try more from that brand. Oh, I'm so sad to see this go. I was actually looking for this the other day, and I was like, no, I think I finished it. So, yeah, I did finish it. And this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I absolutely love this. It just helps to keep your brows in place. Yeah, that, that, that wand is, like, completely dried out. There's, like, no more saving this. But um, I would definitely repurchase this. I actually need to repurchase it. Because sometimes the spoolie just doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. But if you apply this, it just lays your hairs the right way. Exactly where you want them to be. And it will stay there all day. Now granted, my brows didn't go anywhere today. And that's because I've been using my Benefit Curl Brow. I've been in love with the Benefit Curl Brow. For the last couple of videos, that's all you've seen on my brows is the Benefit Curl Brow. So I don't necessarily... But I definitely like the idea of having that clear brow gel just to set everything in place and have everything laying the way you want it to. So I would definitely repurchase that. Same thing with the Strong Roots. This is also from Tropical Living, but it's the actual oil, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. You guys know, if you've been here on my channel for a while, you guys know I absolutely live for it. I have a full video showing a wash day with the Tropical Living product so I'll definitely link that down below and I'll also link the blog post that I did because I have a whole blog post on just the black castor oil by itself. I think I have a blog post on the strong roots by itself as well because like I said they're holy girl products and you guys know I love to bring you products that I love, things that work for me so this staple like of course. Reba. Now I kind of remember throwing these in here when I had moved. Now this is two products this is two skincare products from the brand called Insta Natural. They actually sell these products on Amazon. And I was actually sent these to review. I absolutely did love the vitamin C serum. I actually had two bottles of it and I went through both of these bottles. Now as far as the hyaluronic acid serum, not necessarily did I go through this. I think it ended up drying out on me because as you can see, it's a much larger bottle than this. So I had started using it, then I stopped using it. Then when I went back to use it again, it was kind of dried out, so I just let it be at that point. But um, the vitamin C serum, I just love using vitamin C serums. As you see in my last haul, I did repurchase the vitamin C serum, not from this brand, but vitamin C serums are a good look. So if you're looking for an affordable one, check out the Insta Natural brand over on Amazon. Elf Makeup Mist and Set, you can guys say more. You guys know how I feel about setting sprays. I've repurchased this many a times and will continue to do so. Another setting spray, this one here is from Wet n Wild. And I didn't necessarily fall in love with this one like I did the Ruby Kisses one. Maybe I need to revisit it and try it again, especially now that I have that tip because this one's even cheaper than the uh, Ruby Kisses one. So um, right now, I basically say get the Ruby Kisses one, but if you want to try a more affordable option, let me know if you tried this, what you thought about it, because I, don't, I honestly don't remember. Again, I don't remember falling in love with it, so it's like, yeah, whatever. If I see it, now if they have like a 70% sale, okay? of course I'm going to pick up a bottle. I'll pick up a couple of bottles for that price, but, you know, this is nothing running out, nothing that I'm running out and like, oh, I have to get another bottle, as I did with the Ruby Kisses. Now this, I didn't even get to use that long. It was, um, actually this was in an influence the box too as well. This was the CoverGirl Queen Collection Full Slash Drama Mascara. And Chloe had messed up the whole experience for me because I'm going to show you what she did. Yeah, see that mess? Yeah, she's a mess. But, um, yeah, so she ended up using this and I just felt like it was all contaminated. I'm damn near blind as a bat already, so... I don't need nothing that was contaminated going near my eyes, so this mascara, um, I can't tell you whether I liked it or not because I don't think I got enough use out of it, so. Oh, we're taking it old school, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfecta. I did like it until I tried different BB creams. What I found about this one is that it's like super oily, and I'm a dry skin girl, so if I don't prefer it to be that oily is hella runny so you can only get, use a little bit I think the coverage was really nice on it and you guys know I love the Maybelline 
what is that called? The Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. But this, was, mm, I wouldn't buy this again. I know they do have different versions of this now. So I would try a different version of it, but this original formula, not necessarily, because like I said, I just think it's like a little too oily. Oh my gosh, y'all, this, um, I need to get more of this. Like, this is a company that I think they only sell online. This Adore Botanicals Flourishing Scalp Nectar Healing Elixir. This was a two ounce bottle, and I had tried this in, from a curl kit box as well. This is something that I fell in love with, though. This. It's something that I actually could think could actually change my mind about repurchasing the Strong Roots. Like, I love it that much. And what this is, is basically a um, scalp stimulator. And I would apply it the same way. It has a nozzle and everything. So I would apply it the same way and massage your scalp. And as soon as it hits your scalp, it's like so invigorating. And just you feel the tingle. It says this infusion is soothed in floral, stimulating herbs and penetrating oils is highly beneficial to those suffering with dandruff, dermatitis, psoriasis, dry and itchy scalp, which I don't have any of those ailments, but it's just, I like to make sure that my scalp is, um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. <laughs> I like to make sure that my scalp is like clean, not clean. I can't think of the word, whatever. I just really like to take care of my scalp and, um, I absolutely did love this and I definitely need to check out more from this brand and get another bottle of this. Model in a Bottle Makeup Setting Spray. I bought this at either IMAX or um, IMAX of the Makeup Show sometime this year and I did finish it up more in the summer months but I wouldn't necessarily buy this one again only because you guys know that there's different setting sprays that I like and I actually prefer more than this one. I just bought it again just to see because I know when I originally bought it back in the days, I hated the sprayer, so there's nothing coming out. Of course, it's empty. But the mist, they changed the spray and I wanted to try it with that new spray, but I'm still not necessarily a fan. It does, if you're really oily, I do recommend it because it will do a good job at absorbing those oils and maybe that's why I wouldn't buy it again as well because I don't need nothing to dry my face out I just need my stuff to stay in place so you know this is more like a two-in-one kind of thing oh look the packaging for the African back soap from the Nubian heritage so I did have this the bar in there I did already talk about that prior to that. this was a facial cleanser that I received in my Coco Teak box and it's from a company called Naked Beauty it's made with chamomile cucumber and it was made for sensitive to normal skin uh, it was okay i mean it was very liquidy so as you can see it didn't have a pump so when you go to pour it in your hand it like was very runny so i would hope the full size bottle has a better way to get the product out so this is not something i would necessarily buy again but it was cool while i had it another hose another josie moran product that was the moisturizer. I told you guys I wanted that SPF 47 moisturizer, which is why I bought the Josie Moran kit that they have out in Sephora. So I had tried it in a sample, liked it, bought it. Another mascara, absolutely loved the... Uh, I originally, when I first tried it, I really, really loved it. But again, when you try so many different mascaras, do you really love one for so long? Well, I do. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love that mascara forever. But this one was the Buxom, and I had got that in the last cash in one of the Sephora favorite kits. And then I picked this as my full size. Would I give it again? Nah, not really. This is a product from the company UB Natural. It's their botanical smoothing and defrizzing cream. And I didn't even use it. I wonder if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still a lot of product in this bottle. And the reason I didn't use it is just. I couldn't really get it out the package. So I can't tell you whether I liked it or not. I just felt like it was time for it to get out of my stash, especially when I moved and everything. So, you know. Speaking of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, of course, there's a mini sample in there. Love it. Of course, we'll repurchase it. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, you guys know, Brow Wiz is bae. But um, there's been so many different brow products that's been out on the market. I've just been testing out different things. This, I actually have a backup of this here in my stash already, so I don't need to repurchase it now, but would I repurchase it? Absolutely. Now, this one is a uh, sample of the Myriad Advanced Active Radiant Serum. 
and this I actually saw Missy Lynn had she had posted about it and I had bun I had ran into my stash and I was like yo I have a sample of that so I went ahead and tried it and to me it didn't give that much radiance as it says it's a radiant you know it's a radiant serum so of course it was just a little sample and with skincare you need to use things a lot just to see a difference but with the Ola Henriksen True Serum, I saw more radiance with that. Absolutely loved that. Um, absolutely loved that serum. So I went and purchased the serum from Murad. I will continue to get the serum that I, you know, that I fell in love with. What is this? The Elf Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I did not like this eyeliner because it flaked off. Like if I go to scratch the freaking corner of my eye and my wing falls off with it, like what's the point? So no, I would not repurchase this, but and more well, and an, another affordable liquid eyeliner that I do suggest is the NYC New York Color. Their eyeliner is the bomb, um, and the NYX Matte. I, that's what's called the NYX Matte liquid eyeliner is also the bomb.com. So if you're looking for an affordable liquid eyeliner, I recommend those, not this. I have repurchased it. This is my Sephora Bright. Future Gel Serum Concealer. This one was in the shade number 15. I used the shades 14 and 15. I actually used them today as my concealer. So I basically use those on a, you know, when I'm going to work. It's a nice affordable concealer where you're not looking too turned up, but you're still looking put together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did a blog post on it. I featured it in my favorites. I do absolutely love this concealer and I will continue to repurchase it because don't sleep on the Sephora brand, y'all. The Sephora brand has very good products. Another makeup mist and set. And now, I think there is a difference in between these two. I don't know if they just recently added the aloe green tea cucumber vitamin A, C, and E, or if they just added it to the bottle to make it more appealing. But, of course, that was still, I just told you guys, I would repurchase that. This is a LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Definition Concealer. This was in the shade Toffee. Um, I would repurchase it only because it's three dollars, but this is not a concealer that I like go to so much anymore because of it. If you've seen in the last couple of months, I've hauled so many different concealers, and the, like I said, the Sephora one, it's on the floor. The Sephora one is affordable enough to get me through what I need to do. So the LA Girl, the correctors, now I absolutely love. Will continue to repurchase those. The concealers, eh, not really so much. Guys, we've made it to the bottom of the bag. I just have a handful of products to go through with you guys, and we will be done. Oh, this is my Nail Her. This is my Nail Her False Nail Glue. Um, <coughs> I actually really did like this nail glue. It kept my nails in place. I've used it for nails that wasn't from the Nail Her company. Now, the Nail Her nails themselves, I would not purchase again because... If it felt like the design or whatever color that I had, it would actually chip if I um, like scratched it against something or anything like that. So I wouldn't necessarily repurchase their nails, but the glue did a pretty good job if you This is my Carmex Moisture Plus Lip Balm with sunscreen. Absolutely love this, and I'm so sad it went away, but I would definitely repurchase this. Like, who doesn't buy Carmex? Like, Everybody buys Carmex, but I love the fact that they have these cute little designs. I was sent two of them um, in a PR package, but I buy Carmex. I would definitely repurchase this, and I like their cute little designs again. And the last three products in here are all mini fragrance samples. Uh, this one was the Givenchy, very irresistible. Dior, Miss Dior, which I have a full size right behind me. Absolutely love that one. Lady Gaga Fame was a really good smelling perfume. I think that made me discontinue because I remember seeing it on Sephora's like clearance section. So I don't know if Lady Gaga still makes that. The Givenchy, I'm trying to remember how I did I like it. Oh, that smells kind of good. That smells kind of good. It wasn't nothing that I like fell in love with. You guys know if I love the scent, I'm like, I love the scent, but it, it smells pretty good. So I ain't mad at it. But guys, thanks so much for sticking through all these empties with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up down below this video. If you aren't already and you're down there, thumbs up in this video, why not hit that red subscribe button and stick around for more of what the Case Base channel will be bringing to you guys. I hope to catch you guys on the next video. Until next time, beauties. Bye.